What's up, nerd and nerdettes? Now that you're back, let's jump into the part you guys have been waiting for with part two of Slime Manipulation. Just a quick reminder, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel, removes this gunk stuck to the bottom of my butt, and uh, the support makes me feel special. Now, because most semi-fluid things start off as or can be loosely classified as slime, I'm going to take some creative liberties with these examples, but best believe they'll get my point across pretty dang on well. If it seems like some of these examples are a stretch, I implore you to go back and watch the analysis section. Trust me, it'll make sense. Now, with the power to manipulate slime comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, and control slime for offensive purposes. With slime attacks the user is able to gather existing slime and use it to move and or control objects in a push or pull manner via goo telekinesis <laughs> and since you can move an object and or beings through the medium of slime why not use that element to physically restrict the movement of the target through force alone with no added properties via slime binding Users at the next level aren't just restricted to pre-existing sources of slime. They can create their own source of slime completely separate from outside sources with goo generation. And since you can generate it, you should be able to give it a form of mass and solidity with slime solidification. <laughs> Now that newly solidified slime would be a lot easier to actually build things with, allowing you to give it a form or shape, both simple and complex, with slime constructs. At this level, you'd be pretty proficient enough to take in outside sources of slime into your body in a safe and stable manner in order to add it to your own reserves of uh, goo with slime absorption. Well, since you're taking in slime, safely I hope, it would make sense that with your affinity you would be able to gain a boost in whatever stats you choose with slime empowerment. <laughs> or you could just no-sell anyone or anything who wants to use slime, goo, or sludge base abilities against you for your benefit and their chagrin with slime negation. Okay, cool. I would definitely say you're pretty proficient with slime. <laughs> I mean, well, so what else is there to do? Well, at this level, I would tap into the essence of what makes slime, well, slime, and then alter it, granting additional benefits and qualities with slime property manipulation. So for example, if you wanted to give your slime corrosive properties that make it to where no one would dare to touch it and or you, then with acidic slime manipulation, you could do as such. If you wanted to make the slime you generate and or control toxic to most if not all form of organic life like a frog or super rare snail, then poisonous goo is an application you're going to want to keep in your back pocket. Well, what if you want people to think twice about touching you, <laughs> like you really don't want to be touched? Then bring the heat so others stay out of your metaphorical kitchen by having goo generate high temperatures with fire slime manipulation but if you happen to be a little bit of a dick and don't want to tell people not to touch you but still don't want people to touch you then use the slime to collect a static charge via friction or some other adhesive force that then transfers that charge onto whoever makes contact with you or the slime which will then in turn shock them or transfer the electrical charge into their body or whatever they have for a body via electrical slime generation if you want to generate a slime that lowers the frictional coefficient of whatever you coat it with in order to make things have little to no traction, then slippery goo is something that you're going to want to make use of. I mean, I would. I really don't like being touched. Well, what if you want to reverse the effect and generate a slime that contains a level of viscosity, allowing you to create the most traction you can possibly have between you and another object or another target? Well then, sticky goo is an application that you really can't go without. And if you want to increase the power of your sticky slime while also picking up other materials within its viscous nature, you can create waste-filled semi-solid residue that can be considered toxic and pollutes all that comes in contact with it via sludge manipulation. While the best of the best, those that are considered top tier users of this ability can literally use slime, goo, or whatever weird fluid they want to help themselves or other people recover from most forms of damage that they took 
with slime healing. But if they want to gain a form that's great for stress relief and fitting inside small areas or squeezing in between tight spaces, they can change their physical form into that of whatever slime or slimy substance they choose and then gain its properties in turn, which includes invulnerability to most forms of physical attacks and agelessness to name a few via slime mimicry. The next step up from there allows the user to transform or reshape their slime form as desired to adapt to varying situations, which includes, but is not limited to, impersonating others, enhancing their body for combat, turning into animals, monsters, shapes, etc. with goo kinetic shape shifting. And while you're at it, since you can mimic the form of a slime and transform into other forms because you can use slime as a base or whatever, why not use your shapeless and squishy form to put yourself back together into a form you had prior to any damage you've taken with goo kinetic regeneration. From there, shift this power outward and transform an outside target completely changing its molecular structure with slime transformation. <laughs> now take all that and infuse slime or whatever slime-like properties you chose to adapt at this point in time into whatever combative capabilities you possess in perhaps one of the silliest, disgusting, and well, slimy ways of slapping someone up with goo kinetic combat. You want to mimic one of the grossest animals that exist on this planet in order to increase your locomotive capabilities, aka snail or a slug, then with goo kinetic wall crawling, you can use slime to climb walls if the slime is sticky enough. Well, if you decide you like a bird's eye view better than sliding on the ground, then propel yourself through the air via the medium of slime with goo kinetic flight. And lastly, if you want to use the medium of slime to transport yourself from one location to another without occupying the space in between, then slime teleportation is one that you'll pretty much need. If you want to do the same, but not gross others out too, too much, you still gross them out. Then slime portal creation will allow you to create holes in space with the gooey stuff that connects two separate locations. And there you have it, slime manipulation in a nutshell. An ability that's definitely an ability. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. This power can be used for any and everything you can imagine, as long as you stay within the theme of this power's wheelhouse but it still has its fair share of potential weaknesses. A main one is that slime or goo can be dissolved by certain other liquids, so you'll just have to know about affinities and chemical compatibility and whatnot. That's just nerd stuff. We're already nerds, right? Your enemy or target must be in contact with the slime in order for it to have any effects. So unless you can control any that comes off of them, if they possess any, certain types of slime might be more useful than others due to its viscosity and texture. And since this is a fluid ability, you might be limited in effectiveness depending on your subjection connection to water, you know, hydration or whatnot. You might also be limited on the amount of slime that you can generate or manipulate at any point. <laughs> and lastly, the user's own skills, talents, and determination will determine how far one goes with a power like this. And now, with all that out of the way, it's time to place this ability on the scale. Slime manipulation is a pretty useful power depending on how you use it, as there are so many types of slime that exist. So, with no more filler, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Shea scaling system gives this power a 7.5. Cool and fun, gross and jelly-like, with a pretty good bit of uses, but it really depends on the user or how outrageous you want to get with this power. And like said before, you might need the addition of other properties to make it into something more fearsome.